Hi guys, Tattoo Jail here. Welcome to my England squad builder. Uh, 5 million coin plus England squad featuring legends. Um, the 5 million coins is what I've spent. You could probably do, you could do this squad a lot cheaper now. I've bought these legends and I've played a fair few games with them now. Um, the legends I have got though, I bought not long after they all came out, so I've paid a lot more than what they're going for now. Um, Purely because I knew that the the England legends I would definitely be keeping in an England team of some sort. Um, I've gone with this team. I've I've tried to mix it up a bit, as you'll see when it's complete. Um, I haven't just gone for the, the the typical England setup around the legends. Um, and I've played quite a few games of it now, and really enjoy playing this squad. I've kept the uh, overall rating of the squad down as much as I can. By having silvers on the bench and, as I said, mixing it up, not having your usuals in the uh, in the rest of the England squad, so it's cut down on the handicap quite a lot, and the teams look really enjoyable to play with. I've done pretty well with it. Anyway, let's let's get on to the first one then. Let's start off with the goalkeeper. There's only going to be one person in goal here. Use Joe Hart a lot. He's obviously the next best England keeper after that. There isn't really much of a choice, even though there's some good English goalkeepers and non rares and they're not, not not the greatest of goalkeepers. But this guy, as you can see, paid one just over a million coins for him. I, like I said, bought him not long after they came out. It um it had four owners, but only been used for one game. So I've played 56 games with him now. I've actually got one assist with him, and that's from a a long hoof downfield and someone running onto it. Um, save techniques, traditional, right footed, three star weak foot, one star skill moves. Um, probably one of England's top two goalkeepers of all time, or at least he's definitely the keeper I grew up watching and can remember. Um, easy stats, I put a glove chemistry style on him, which actually adds to diving, handling and positioning. He's goalkeeper, obviously legend, league legend, nationality is English. Diving 78, handling 90, kicking 93, reflexes 85, speed at 50, positioning 88. Um, not a lot to say really about this. As you're, most of you will know, you're always going to get keeper problems. FIFA 14, no matter who you have in goal, I had on FIFA 13, I had 95 rated team of the year, Casillas. And was probably one of the worst goalkeepers I used. I am impressed with this one. It's not worth the million coins he is, but as I said, I think he's come down to about 650k now, which is still a lot of money for an 88 rated goalkeeper. But if you've got that sort of money and you want this sort of player, it's, it's definitely worth getting. Um, but like I said, you're always going to get them OP headers, OP goals, and they're not going to stop them. On saying that, as you'll see from when a player review him, there is a lot of saves he does that normally would just go in. So he, do, he does he does stop more than your average your average goalkeeper, your check, your Ruiz, your Casillas. But you're not buy, you're not buying a brick wall. He is still going to get beat. So don't expect to go out and buy a player um, an 88 rated goalkeeper that is literally going to save every shot that hits at him because he's not going to. But he does pull off when you've used him for a while. As I have 56 games, if you, you use him and you do see the difference in his in his saves compared to normal goalkeepers of 86 rated, 85 rated. So pleased with the buy. Wouldn't have anyone else in goal now. Like I said, I'd lose too much money if I sold him. So he'll definitely be staying in my team, and there'll be a player review on him coming out shortly. Right then, let's go to the first centre back, which again. Got to be the legend, Sol Campbell. Arsenal teammate of David Seaman. Um, I paid 850k for him. You can get him for about 600k now. He'd only played three games with any other club when I'd had him. Played 70 matches with him now. I think he was actually my first legend purchase. Um, and again, just completely different. I've obviously used 
um, Ramos, all the top defenders, probably in the top defender I haven't used, and the, the difference, there's a massive difference from a legend 86 card to a normal 86 rated defender, massive, massive difference. The stats never seem like, the, the, the stats on, on these legend cards just, just don't seem right. I, I borrowed Michael Owen off Black, Black Chris Massacre, who actually packed him, um, borrowed him for a review, used him. His worst stat was one of his one of his most impressive features for me, which was his passing. So you've got to try these cards out, guys. You you, you can't go on the on the stats. Obviously, he's got 89 heading and 85 defending, which is, he is immense at both of them. But then you go down to I mean, his shot ain't great, but on saying that, I have scored a really good goal with him, and I have had some good shots. So. Stat-wise, guys, I would not go on the stats on legend cards. I would try them all out for yourself. Um, got three-star weak foot, two-star skill move, six foot two, born 1974. Um, I put an anchor on him, which um, puts about an extra two onto his pace, defending and heading. This is my favourite chemistry style and really the only one I use for defenders. Um, centre back obviously legend legend and his nationality is English his pace is 78 his shooting is 33 his passing is 62 dribbling 46 defending 85 and a massive 89 on his heading which obviously is, with that chemistry card his heading and defending just get improved slightly if chemistry cards work um, but yeah another great buy not disappointed at all a lot of money again for a card but anyone who has used legends will know there is a massive difference between a legends card and a normal card you're not just buying another 86 rated because um ramos or an 86 rated pk or whoever whoever defenders you use eight even 87 tiago silver vidic you're not with a legend card the 86 overall rating is probably more like an 88 89 maybe even 90 rated defender in my opinion so I'm looking forward to using some of the higher rated legend cards. Um, see what they're all about. So say 86 rated defender, very impressed. Right, and next one is in this week's team of the week. A lot of people who like, don't want to get John Terry, you don't want to get John Terry's pace, this is pace, that. Again, massive difference between inform players and their normal cards. I, I had John Terry in normal card, couldn't stand it, it was useless, bought this, play, only played 17 games with him, but this guy, is, apart from Sol Campbell, he's probably one of my favourite defenders on the game so far that I've used, and I've used a lot of defenders, I've used all the top rated defenders, and um, his pace does not even come into it, again, player review coming out hopefully in the next few days on this guy, and you'll see the difference, the tackling, his positioning, he's always there, you just do not, the pace just does not affect this card in any way, shape or form. Um, 87 head defending, 86 heading, that's nearly the same sort of stats as Sol Campbell. Uh, three star weak foot, two star skill moves, right footed, it's got medium attacking work rate, high defensive work rate. Um, not yet scored any goals, he wins a lot of headers. Same as Sol Campbell, both defenders win a lot of headers in the box from corners, just don't seem to... They find the target, or very close to, but just don't seem to find the net very much. Um, so on to his stats. I've, again, put anchor on him. You'll find with most of my squad builders, it's very rare I use anything other than anchor on a defender. Centre-back from Chelsea, from the Premier League, and he's English. Um, the, the anchor card again, pace defending and heading, that adds to. And his stats, pace 43, shooting 48, passing 60. Dribbling 51, but a massive 87 defending and 86 heading. So again, come down now. I was looking at pink slipping him, so I had a look at buying another one. And you're looking at about 35k and still dropping. So he's still in team of the week. Some team of the weeks end and they go up. Some team of the weeks end and they go down in price. Um, if you can get this guy for under 30k, a definite bargain. Completely different. So I'd definitely put him up there with my top top favourite defenders. Next, this guy been upgraded, second in form already, he's first in form, as you'll probably know, he was a silver card, um, quite honestly his silver card, his normal silver card was brilliant, his in form silver card was even better, 
and this, a 77 rated goal player. Guys, if you want to see what I mean by the informs are completely different to a gold, use this 77 and then compare it to anything up to 83, 84 rated normal gold defenders. Because believe me, there's such a massive difference when you um, use an inform card compared to normal cards. You would never in a million years think a 77 card would be any good. And again, wouldn't change. We only paid 21k for him as well on his inform. Second inform as well, upgraded from a silver. 63, uh, six foot three, medium attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate. All three of these defenders, they're always there defending. Don't have any problems. We've used defenders such as Ramos. You, you end up finding them as far forward as the attackers, um, which isn't good. Especially when you play three at the back like me. You want three defenders. But all these three, I've never seen to have them out of position or thinking where are they or they've come back we've got to get a counter attack from a corner and they're stuck up in the other, uh, in the opponent's box. Um, two star weak foot, two star skill moves, 1991 he was born, um, played 78 games with him, scored, scored three goals with, with him, got one assist, three yellow cards, three red cards. Uh, again, he's got an anchor card on him, which does his pace, defending and heading. Um, centre back from Cardiff City. BPL, and his nationality is English. He's got 75 pace, which is really, really good for a, a really good pace for a centre back. Uh, shooting 36, not really had that many shots to comment on that stat, but again, I think a lot of the stats on players are underrated these days, um, especially on inform cards. Passing 62, dribbling 63, but then great 82 and 84 defending for a 77 rated player. Again, guys, try this card out for an inform 21k, not a lot of coins, and really, really impressed with him. He'll be going nowhere out of my club. These three defenders are. Um, Definitely being kept. I've played him in my BPL team alongside Wes Brown in form as well. And uh, again, both both cards are great. Um, right, we'll go on to the right mid position first. <clears throat> as I said, a bit different with some of the things. A lot of you probably haven't even uh, used this guy or maybe not even seen him. I hadn't seen him, to be honest. I originally bought him for my silver BPL team. Uh, in a right forward position, purely on the fact of the lack of right forwards with a uh, left foot, which to me is essential um, for the cuttings. The way I play, I just can't really use right fo right footed players on the right and left footed players on the left. So I gave him a try in um, midfield because I was really impressed with him. <clears throat> and he didn't let me down whatsoever. I've changed him now to a right mid. As you can see, he paid 1.6k for him. Not sure what he is on the market at the moment. I bought him a long time ago, so there's a good chance he's a lot less than that. Um, definitely suggest you try and try him out if you like your silver players, silver English team, silver BPL team. Three star skill moves, so you, you can pull off you can pull off the odd trick with him. Two star weak foot. I don't really that doesn't really bother me because, like I said, he gets he gets crosses in, and I've got no complaints with his right foot crossing. Um, played 62 games with him, scored 22 goals. A lot of them, a lot of them, he, he got his goals mainly when he was playing right forward. He's got a cracking left foot shot on him, which um, I'll try and stick a couple of his goals in the um, the highlights at the end of this video. Um, yeah, he scored 22 goals, 17 assists, three yellow cards, um, engine card, which again this is my preferred chemistry card for a cent for a midfield player. Um, it adds to their gone the wrong way pace, passing, and dribbling, which I think is the main things for a midfielder. Crystal Palace BPL nationality obviously English. Pace 78, shooting 71, passing 68, dribbling 80, defending 46, heading 54. Um, great all-round player, brilliant for a silver. So only 73 overall rated. Um, really enjoyed playing with him. Now we'll go to the left mid side. And again, we've gone for a former West Brom player. Really liked the player as a player when he was at West Brom. Yeah, he's been, he was great on FIFA 13 as a silver. Again, but add him in my, as a left forward. 
Um, Baines is his right footed. Swapped into left mid, give him a chance here. Four star skill moves, three star weak foot. Right footed, medium attack work rate, medium defensive, five foot ten. Paid 1.2k for him, absolute bargain. He hasn't played any other games or any other clubs. This is match or second card of him. I did sell him when he was in my BPL team. Played a lot more games with him. He's um, played 17 games in left mid, scored one goal, um, four assists, no yellow cards, no red cards. Again, engine card on him to do his pace, passing and dribbling. Pace 82, shooting 61, passing 69, dribbling 78, defending 50, heading 55, left mid from Crystal Palace, Barclays Premier League, English nationality. Again, another great player. Um, just mixes the team up a bit, makes it look a bit better, I think, when you get a few of the silver players in as well. Uh, right, we're going to this right hand sided um, centre mid, which is going to be. Tried them all out, Lampard didn't like Gerard, was okay, he had a great shot on him, but for his pace and dribbling more than anything, this guy got in. Jack Wilshire paid 2.7 for him, second owner. I haven't used this card. Um, for any games yet, but I had had him before, you, um, used him plenty before, along with Gerard, along with Lampard, decided to go and get him back, put an engine card on him, um, three star weak foot, three star skill moves, doesn't score a great deal of goals, it's, it's the last time I used him on his other card, he didn't, I had a lot of games with him, I think it was touching 50 and about 10 goals, but uh, as you can see, by his stats, 79 pace, which is good for a midfielder, 68 shooting, 83 passing and 85 dribbling. Them are the main reasons, his passing and dribbling, and he's got a decent amount of pace on him for a centre midfield player. So, again, he got the nod, get, nod ahead of probably Gerard and, Terry, um, Gerard and Lampard, which have been most people's first choices in midfield. But the lack of pace, Lampard I wasn't impressed with at all. Gerard... I was impressed with his shooting, but not really anything else. So I, I went for uh, the young lad Jack. Again, now another silver player. Used it loads on FIFA 13, used loads on this one um, on FIFA 14. Paid 10k for him, not sure whether that's the going right now. He's one game off 100 games, scored nine goals with him. Again, played in my BPL silver team for a lot of um, his matches before. I probably played about 20 or 30 games with him in the centre mid role here. So I know what he's all about. Three star skills, three star weak foot. Um, again, a rip silver player, so mixes it all up and a really solid player. I much prefer Delph over your Lampard, your Gerrards. Any of Tom Odulston, any of the other, any of the other English centre mids I could have gone for, is definitely the best choice. So between him and Wilshire, I think I've got two really good, a good variety and a, and a, a good mix of centre mid players. Again, engine card, which does pace, passing, and dribbling, as you'll already know. Centre midfielder, unfortunately plays for Aston Villa, but I'll let him off on that one. Barclay Cup, Barclays Premier League. And his uh, nationality is obviously English again. Pace 80, shooting 67, passing 72, dribbling 79, defending 61, heading 52. Again, it's just a great player. If you can get a chance to try him, guys, try him. Now here's my, my first, I've got a cam here, which has actually been moved. I started off playing three up front with the right forward and left forward. Even though his positioning was amazing, his stats compared to the other two that I've got up front, made me decide to pick him as my cab. Um, I'm going to go through these a bit quicker because I'm going to play and review these th these next three anyway. So I'll just run through their stats quickly and wrap this up, try and get this squad builder down a bit because I've gabbled on a bit again. Um, six foot one, high attacking work rate, low defensive work rate, which is great. Right footed, three star weak foot, three star skill moves. Obviously Teddy Sheringham, mainly legend at um, Tottenham Hot Spurs. Uh, 850 coins are paid, 840,000 coins are paid for him. I think again for about between five and 600 now. Uh, played 70 games for me, scored a whopping 50 goals. This is the difference now with legends. The goal scoring tally is always amazing. And he's got 26 assists, one yellow card, one red card. 
My favourite chemistry card on any attacking right forward, left forward, strikers, cams is Hawk. I haven't really looked into a, um, a chemistry style for cams, so I don't normally use a cam, so there might be a bit better one that I'll have a look at. But at the moment, he's still got the Hawk on, which does pace, shooting, and heading. His pace is 78, his shooting is 84, passing 71, dribbling 73, defending 80, uh, 54, and heading 84. Um, again, I'm not going to go into a great, a great amount of detail about him, just superb cards. All three of these, next, these sharing them and these next two players, all three are just great cards. Um, next one, go on the left hand side, we go with the right footed player as I like. Um, Gary Lineker, total England legend, paid 2.1 for him, he's come down loads now. I think you can get him for about a million less than that, but he won't be going nowhere out of my club. Um, high attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate, right footed. Three star weak foot, three star skill moves, 51 um, appearances for me, and 33 goals, which is a um, great return. 19 assists, no yellow cards, no red cards, just as he was in real life. Again, Hawk chemistry card with pace, shooting, and heading. Uh, he's a striker, obviously, legend. The club, he was legend again. He played for Barcelona, but the main team he was legend was Tottenham Hotspurs. Um, Nationality is English, and his pace 86, shooting 82, passing 69, dribbling 79, defending 50, heading 80. Great all round card, guys. Um, love him. Love all the legend cards I've used so far. They're just a complete difference. It's like playing with different players. But as I said, I'll go into more detail on these. Player reviews are close to being finished on the videos. Uh, and then my third striker, uh, well, second striker, fifth. Legend of this squad builder is um, Robbie Fowler. Most of you uh, Liverpool fans will obviously know him. Made his name there. I think he had two appearances at Liverpool. Went, I think he went back there. Not 100% on that. Uh, 1975. 5 foot 11. Medium attack work rate. Don't agree with that whatsoever. Medium defensive. Don't agree with that whatsoever either. I'll, he's got to be on high attacking, low defensive. Because he's just an out and out striker, same as Lineker. He's left footed, which is great, so I've got a left and a right footed striker, so I can play one on either side for cut ins. Three star weak foot, three star skill moves. I paid a million coins for him. I think he's down to about 800 coins now, 800,000 coins, you'd have to check. I've got a fresh card, which I've got off someone obviously who packed him, so I'm the second owner, and he hadn't used him at all. Top, my top goal scorer at the moment, 70 games, 55 goals, 31 assists, one yellow card, no red cards. Again, superb. So that's the England squad, guys. As I said, plays really well. I think the mix-up of it's made it um, a lot better on the chemistry. I could have gone in for me uh, higher-rated players, defenders, midfielders, and made the an overall probably of an 84, 85. But then you start getting seeing the handicap more. This at least having the silver players in this squad at least brings down the um, the overall. To me, what I believe brings down the handicap you get. So you're getting more out of the legend cards you've got in there. Um, and as I said, at the moment, if you can get a chance to try a legend card, guys, anyone, it doesn't matter who it is, any, any legend card, you will see the difference. Um, there's a massive, massive difference in them. 86 rated striker, I'd say, is more like a 90. 89 rated striker, I'd say, is more like a 92. Overalls and stats on them are pre pretty, not very accurate at all. So I'd seriously suggest trying any of them don't be put off by their stats they're starting to get should be starting to get a more settled price on the market now they've been out for a good couple of weeks um you can pick some pretty good good um, legends up at cheap prices i'd suggest trying any of these in an england team if you can or whatever team you want to put them into um but that's the squad guys um I have gabbled, gabbled on a bit, so I probably ain't going to put any footage on here. What I'm going to, what I'll probably do is go back and do a less in-depth squad builder. Just do the squad builder, the players, put it on, and then get some footage of goals at the end. So I know I've gone on a bit now. This is going to be pushing 25 minutes for this video. Um, sorry, it's gone on so long. If you're still watching, thanks for still watching. Uh, but I will get a shorter version of it out with. Some of the highlights, some of the goals. I've scored some banging goals with some of these players. I've got a real good goal if I've got it on the table. Punching. Uh, as, you, as you gather, I've got a lot of footage of goals in the front three. A lot of tackling, defending. Um, Dave Seaman, Sol Campbell, 
Terry, probably Corker, Sheringham, Lineker and Fowler all in the process of making player reviews which you'll see a lot more footage and a lot less bullshit gabbling by me but hopefully you've enjoyed this video guys if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe um, as I say every subscriber helps um, I've just gone over 200 subscribers now there's also my Twitter get over there that's where I do my pink slips I advertise my pink slips my giveaways get on my Twitter I'll put links in the descriptions any of the links in the description guys for any other people as well Go give them a follow. Genuine YouTubers, genuine Twitters, genuine pink slips off all of them. Um, so anything in my description, guys, go and check it out because it's well worth the check out. If you could share, like, do whatever you could to help me out, guys, with my channel. I'm trying to get it as, um, as bigger and better as possible. Um, so, yeah, I've got no coin sponsor. All, all, the, all the players and the coins I earn um, are through trading, looking pack openings, and that sort of thing so yeah any links in the descriptions go and check them out if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe there's going to be a lot more videos coming out player reviews and the pink slips are going to be starting as i said very soon now on my twitter pink slips giveaways and my live stream so anyway crackheads that's me that's my england squad and um thanks for watching